We are staying in Finland for the next week and we're taking you along for our adventures with us. Come on in. We're gonna be taking you along through some unique accommodations as we are hunting for the Northern Lights this week. You can stay in amazing hotels that are made out of entirely snow and ice and sleep in here for one night while it's negative five degrees Celsius. If you guys are new here, we're Giselle and Steven and we're taking you along on a new bucket list adventure every single month this year. This one is our first stop. This is our Airbnb. This is a tented igloo in Rovaniemi. It's about 20 minutes away from the airport and it's super awesome. We are here for only one night. We got in last night and it was a winter wonderland. So let's just show you around a little bit. This Airbnb comes with a full kitchen so that way we can cook if we needed to with a microwave or toaster. It also has coffee. And this is how we lit the entire area. There's no lights really in here besides some little backsplash lights. So we had to light a ton of little candles. It really created a fun ambiance in the area, especially because if it wasn't so cloudy, we probably could have watched the Northern Lights from these beautiful windows. Now, if it was a clear night, you would be able to see the Northern Lights through the sky roof too, which is really cool. And if you have kids, there is a whole nother little kids area up above on a ladder. If it's not Northern Lights, it's still really cool to be able to see out here and watch the snow fall. It stays really warm in here. Last Last night we had this heated blanket and it kept us really nice and toasty. There's also a fireplace where you can keep the wood burning and there's also heated floors, which is awesome. My favorite part. Make sure when you guys do come to Rovaniemi in the winter to pack lots of layers. If you guys missed our packing video, I'll link it up here for you. So this Airbnb costs us about $350 for the night, but if you're looking for a really cool, unique accommodation out here, then we definitely think it's worth the price. If you guys are looking at booking some of the glass igloos, which we're gonna show you later this week. That is actually a much cheaper price point than most of those. Those typically run in the upper hundreds to even thousands, depending on where you stay. This trip will be a little bit more um, pricey. <laughs> All right, this is where we stayed last night. Goodbye, Mr. Igloo. Such a fun little spot. We just finished up lunch here at Rakas at the Arctic Treehouse Hotel. We're not actually staying here tonight, but we did want to check it out and the restaurant was really yummy. Highly recommend the soup. The salmon's a little gamey, so if that's not really your thing, I'd avoid the seafood and go for something else. But super cute, really nice ambiance in there and the service is great. So this is basically the whole hotel premise. It's a bunch of these outdoor tree houses, but it has this nice giant panoramic window where theoretically, if you can see the Northern Lake, then you can see it from a nice view from your hotel room. So there's tons of these little tree houses out here. This is definitely more of a luxury resort, but this is one of the most famous ones. It's really close to Santa Claus Village. And I mean, if you just look at these glass tree houses, it's pretty cool. Come on into our Lapish Cami Suite at Apuka Resort. Oh my God, this place is so cool. It is much nicer than our Airbnb. I understand why it's a little more expensive. Look how cute this is. I love all the windows. What do you think? This is like by far one of the coolest places I have stayed. Should we go upstairs? Yes, but all we have way. to show them the kitchen. Okay, we got a stove. We got toaster, oven, microwave, coffee, coffee machine. machine. Very important. We got lots of coffee and tea. We're in like a little village. Look at these are all of our friends. Hello, friends. Look at all of them. So this is our bedroom at the beautiful Apuka Resort. We are in the Lapish Cami Suite, which is a step above the Aurora cabins and the Aurora Superior cabins. So the biggest difference between those two options, when I was looking at least, is how you get the glass igloo structure. So as you guys can see with this room, we have a full 360 panoramic glass window at the top of our room. Whereas in the other glass igloos, it's actually just like in the front of the igloo, which is similar to how we have our windows downstairs and similar to that first Airbnb that we booked. So this is actually really, really cool. It is a little bit more expensive than the Aurora cabins, but I mean like if you get the Northern lights in the middle of the night, you can just look up from your bed and see them. How freaking cool is that? All right, let's talk price. Pricing. So we actually booked a package here at Apuka. We booked the All About Aurora package, which is a three day, two night accommodation stay with breakfast included. And then we also got a Husky sledding experience, which we're doing later tonight. I have decided I must teach my Husky how to do this. 
they love this and a Aurora Snow Train hunt experience included. Now you can either book the suite alone or you can book the full package together and you get like a 10% discount or something like that on the activities. Now that we've done the snow train and everything, I personally would recommend just buying the suite alone instead of the package and then adding on the additional activities that you wanna do. We absolutely loved, loved, loved the finished sauna. There's G, <laughs> look at her. She's ready, I could feel it. This is our little private sauna that we have. Oh, it's cold, <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> and the snow train was like, okay, I don't think it's worth the money to do it unless you're absolutely going to see the Aurora that night. I just think there would be cooler excursions you could do because the snow train really is just like a snowmobile attached to some like, uh, what's the word, cloth? It's really just like a snowmobile with like these cloth carriages, which is fun, but I think you could definitely do a better experience than that one with the package. Don't forget about the sausages. The snow train also comes with some sausages and marshmallows and some, I think it's called glog, I don't remember. Uh, nice warm juice, which that was really good. We really liked the glog. But like I said, I would personally go with some other experiences. Apuka offers so many different ones here. So for the three day, two night, all about Aurora package, we paid about $2,600 dollars which is pretty pricey like i said in the beginning of this video this finland northern lights hunting experience is a once in a lifetime kind of trip so it is a little more pricey than most of the trips that we do i know if you guys have been around on our channel long enough you guys know we're all about a budget but it is super cool if you get the chance to see aurora so we thought it would be really worth it to get some really cool accommodations hey only half the price of disney don't say that. <laughs> this is one of the coldest hotel rooms in the world that you can stay in for a night and definitely one of the most unique accommodations we've ever been to. So we're excited to show you guys around. So this snow hotel has a chapel. It has 20 rooms. This is number 86. Got some frogs. A ice bar, an ice restaurant. We have not had elk yet. Let's see what, what Giselle's first impression no, is. Oh don't boy. Record. Oh boy. And so much else in these rooms. It's crazy. We are going into the snow sauna. This is the only snow sauna in the entire world. All you do is you have the, the broiler right there. You got some water and we're gonna see how steamy it gets. So for the next two days, we're gonna be staying here. We booked the five senses of ice package, which includes one night in this really cool snow hotel and one night in their Aurora glass igloos. So we'll be here just for one of the days. But that's fine, because it's actually freezing in here. Um, <laughs> it's fi minus five degrees Celsius. Yeah, and so, you, I mean, you can see our breath in here. <sighs> so they give us a ton of warm sleeping bags to sleep on the beds tonight, and they give you a sleeping bag liner. And they also do have a room where if you cop out and you end up not being able to sleep in the cold, you can go sleep in there instead. That's not the plan tonight. We're gonna stick it out. Basically, the five senses of ice package includes one night in each of those accommodations. It includes a, a drink at the ice bar, a ice restaurant meal, a ice fishing excursion, and an ice sauna experience. So we're doing all those activities tomorrow. And it probably is the most unique hotel I've ever stayed in. Welcome to our last accommodation here in Finland. We are staying at the Arctic Snow Hotel still, but this is their glass igloo. So the difference between these glass igloos and the ones that we stayed in at a... Skirt, skirt. So the main difference between the glass igloo Aurora cabins at Apuka, which we didn't stay in, we stayed in the Lapish Cami Suites, is that this one is full panoramic like our Cami Suite, but the ones at Apuka only had the front facing window. So it really only be like half of this room where you could see out of, whereas this one, you do get the full view, which is very, very nice. In terms of sizing, it's pretty small in here. It's about like literally one bed and your bathroom. That's it. You got a nice little chair, a mini fridge, and a little coat rack, but it's super warm in here and very cozy. I don't think you really need that much room. So once you check out of the snow hotel and you're doing your night in the glass igloo, if you do the similar package, you get a fun little ice diploma verifying that you did indeed stay in a hotel fully made of snow and ice. And then the next day you get to check, you have to check out at 10 and then you can come and check into your room early if it's, if it's already done. So we did that and you can also actually upgrade 
an option to make it a little more of a romantic stay. So we did that. We got greeted with some champagne and chocolates and then they put like rose petals on the bed and decorated the place with candles. So that's really cute. I think it's only about, I think it's like $70 or something to add that little special upgrade. So if you're bringing a little special someone, it's an option to add on. There are bigger ones that you can upgrade to similar to Apuka but we wanna try and get a little bit different of a feel for this one. And then there are 40 of these glass igloos. So they do have a lot more igloos than rooms in the snow hotel, but it's nice because we get a little bit of both with our five senses of ice package that we booked. A lot of people that are here that were in the snow hotel last night are doing one night in each, so you get a little bit of a different experience. Thank you so much for watching our unique accommodations here in Finland. We just got back and we are super excited to share the next few videos all about Finland. We have our top 10 things to do in Finland coming out next and then our ultimate guide to Finland. So be on the lookout for those. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you wanna see more bucket list adventures. We travel all around the world. We are getting ready to head out to New Zealand and Australia tomorrow. So we have so much fun content coming out and we will see you guys on the next adventure.